It's me, Misanthropony, and today I'm here to talk about something that's very important to me. It may come across as out of left field, but this is very serious. This is Mint Heart, an artist in the Brony community. She's done commissions and trades for many people and is a very talented creator. I've known Mint for a very long time, four years to be exact, all the way back to the early days of my channel, and in that time, she's become one of the most important people in my life. She's like a daughter to me. We've chatted a lot, and I've been there for her for a lot of hard times. Whether it was nervous about starting high school or dealing with internet drama, I've been there to give her the advice that she needs to develop and become a better person. I want to see her grow from those experiences, and I want her to have a good life. But right now, Mint is in a very dangerous situation that's made it very hard for her to move forward. On September 26th of this year during a Skype chat, she showed me just how dire her situation is. One day when she was sleeping, she was woken up by her dog around the same time that her mother's ex boyfriend was attempting to molest her, and he moved his hand away from her just as she was noticing to cover up his action. Mint knows exactly what she saw and what she felt. Additionally, the household itself has grown very toxic, and it's affected Mint both mentally and emotionally. Mint's mother has grown extremely possessive of her, treating her like property instead of family. She was also allowing the ex who touched Mint to sleep in her bed, showing just how oblivious she is of her daughter's situation. Since then, Mint has been scared of falling back to sleep, because she was at the risk of being unaware of his presence if he tried touching her again. I know Mint very well, and I know that she wouldn't lie about something like this. So I told her that the best course of action was to make a GoFundMe explaining her situation, and I would spread awareness of it however I can. Mint explained to me how the money would be used for things to help her after she moved out. Things like emancipation, finding rent, electricity, appliances, internet access, water, food, transportation, and all the other necessities. She set the goal to $10,000, which is a reasonable amount of money for her situation. Word of her situation caught the attention of Patchwork Heart, Leo Convoy, Fable Tale, Lightspeed, and several others. In attempt to raise awareness for the situation, we plan to do a live stream asking any questions about the GoFundMe and Mint situation. I was chosen to host the stream as I had the biggest channel and was capable of reaching out to the most people. But what we didn't expect was the events that occurred when the live stream began. We ended up getting audio of Mint's mother and we heard firsthand what kind of person that she is and how she views her daughter. She proceeded to gaslight her, blackmail her, tell her to lie to the police about the situation, even telling her she doesn't care. She became increasingly aggressive during the call, threatening Mint multiple times. Even as Mint explained how she didn't feel safe, she still told her to lie. She continuously painted herself as a victim, accusing Mint of starting petty drama and lying to get money, and many other aggressive actions. Some of the actions that the mother took, like telling her daughter to lie to the authorities, are criminal. Her attitude towards Mint was very uncaring and very inappropriate for a parent to have. Even worse is that even upon hearing about the GoFundMe, she never took the time to look it up to see why it was made. She either refused to look at it or simply didn't care. She is actively being neglectful of her child. She allowed the molester to stay, further increased Min's anxiety, and over this past month, it 
it's only gotten worse. Ever since the livestream, me and the others have done everything we can to raise awareness for the GoFundMe, as well as helping Mint to form a plan for what to do when the goal is reached. Patchwork Heart, a victim of Toon Critics' abuse and manipulation, has been doing research on programs, collecting documents for emancipation, and has shared the GoFundMe on Twitter weekly as a means to help out. Leo Convoy, one of the participants of the livestream, is currently running the GoFundMe to ensure that it stays up and that the money stays in good hands. Leo has a well-known history in handling this stuff, so I know that he can be trusted. Many others have helped as well, spreading awareness and even donating what they could. But it's still not enough. The situation has placed a lot of fear and stress on Tement, and it still shows no signs of stopping. This is something that cannot be allowed to continue. Starting this month, I'm going to be doing daily Twitch streams whenever I can. These Twitch streams will include the ability for any viewers to donate to the stream. Any money made through these streams will go towards the GoFundMe. This is going to be a regular event on the side of my YouTube channel until the goal is reached. This last month has been a really rough one, but there have also been glimmers of hope in between. We've received a lot of reception for the live stream, which went towards funds and awareness. Even more recently. Ooh, if I